The visual understanding environment or view is an open source application from Tufts University. It is a content and concept mapping app for the construction of highly interactive presentations and export to HTML documents for online learning. You can also export as JPEG images, pings, and PDFs. What you see in front of us is a, a trivial example of how uh, an instructor could visually represent a concept in a humanities class regarding the influence of utopian thought in Western culture. And uh, in a learning management system, these concepts of music and literature and art may be represented in separate linear folders. But by visually displaying this as a content and concept map, the student begins to visualize how the concepts of art, the theme of music and literature, are connected to the influence of utopian thought in Western culture. So the purpose of this demonstration is to show how we created this concept map for our discussion into utopian thought. So first of all, let's go up and create a new map. And when we create an empty map, the visual language that view is based on are nodes and links. So we're going to put our center node in here and we can name that uh, influence of utopian thought. And uh, when we click off, the box automatically uh, sizes itself to the size of the text. Now, one thing that I always open when I begin to create my map is I go up to Windows and I open my formatting palette, which allows me to change the fill. In this case, let's begin with a fill of blue. So we'll go ahead and select our node and we'll select a node of blue, and then we can reposition our node close to the center. Also, I can go back and I can say, well, this node is a little too wide. <coughs> let's make that into two lines. And also, let's shrink the size of the node. And we can also do that. Again, repurpose that into the center of the screen. So. From there, we can go and add other nodes. For instance, we can add art theme. And we can add another node for music. And a node for literature. and we can continue to add theme nodes. Now, the next thing is to click and link the central theme of the discussion, which is the influence of utopian thought on Western culture to art. And we can draw our uh, link connector. We can also label this, put in some metadata, and uh, we'll just simply say, um, Again, maybe just art to show what this is like. And then under art, uh, one of the principal schools in utopian influence is Arcadia, or the Arcadian School. And I've gone out and I've collected several uh, pictures that are examples of the influence of Arcadia in utopian thought. And in fact, I have three, so I'm going to put three nodes in here. And then I can select each node and right click and I can add an image. Okay, so I'll go 
up and add my image file. And I'll go to where my image files are located on the desktop. And here I see that I have several image files. And let me go ahead and look at the details. So I can look at the item type and quickly discern those. I have an image of a painting from Thomas Cole, Thomas Eakins, and uh, another one from uh, Van Kalbach. So let's go ahead and begin out with uh, Von Kalbach open that and again the image goes nicely into the node and we can reposition this again add image and this time we're going to select let's say coal as coal's image and I'm running out of space so again I can select my nodes and sub nodes and reposition Add another image, and this time Eakins. Okay, and again I can line everything so it looks neat, and again select my link tool where Art is linked to Arcadia School, and Arcadia is then linked to each of our painters okay. and we can do that uh, not only can we bring image files in but we can also bring in music files so we can look at two different types of music let's look at something from the 18th century and excuse me 19th century and something from the 20th century uh, and we can go into our assets that we've collected utopian resources and here we see that uh, we have uh, links to YouTube uh, videos featuring Wagner doing uh, playing Tannhauser. So let's do Wagner first. So I can select, cut and paste the link. Go up here, type in Wagner. node, right click, add URL, click OK, and as when the URL is added successfully we see a little icon that says web and when we mouse over the YouTube video comes up. We can also do the same here uh, where we can right click, we can add a URL, uh, let's go to our resources. And here we're going to play White Cliffs of Dover from World War II by Vera Lynn. Okay, we're going to collect that. Go over here. Vera Lynn. Select the node. Right click, add URL. And there we go. And finally, in literature, uh, we can, uh, let's say we have uh, two documents, uh, two books that we would like our students to read. And let's go back to our resources and the resources that we have found uh, on the Gutenberg project is the New Atlantis by Bacon. So we're going to copy the link to Bacon's New Atlantis. Go over here. Again, type in bacon. Select the node, right click, add the URL to the Gutenberg project. And there we see HTMM, uh, noting that this is a link to an HTM document on the web. Over 
here we're going to do Orbel. And uh, in this case, we're going to select the node again and go up and add the URL to Animal Farm. And uh, again, once this is all completed, we can do the linkages. And uh, we can go and select and give things a bit more space. select entire nodes and go and visually change the color so that our students can easily discern the different themes too bright. Ah, much better. So there we go. Uh, we have our central concept with three themes, music, literature, and art. You can add many, many more themes, but for the purpose of today's demonstration, that's fine. We brought in uh, JPEGs, we brought in links to audio files in YouTube, and we brought in links to HTML documents. At this point, we can go ahead and view our presentation. And uh, as we go over here and we click on each node, let's say we're going to look at the art theme. We can again click on the art theme and choose Arcadia. And in Arcadia, we have uh, the influence of the different artists. And of course, I need to go back and add the artist's name so I can easily do that by pressing escape and going back and doing an edit. And again, let me go back here and check the references. And the references were uh, von Kalbach, Cole, and Eakins. So we will make these adjustments. Kalbach, Cole, and Eakins. Now that we've edited our presentation, again, we can go look at it. Yes, much better. Look at the Arcadia School. Look at von Kalbach. Again, we can click on it to go full screen. Beautiful. Cole, double click Eakins, and it will also open up in a photo editor if we wish it to for further editing. Over in music, we can go and directly select Bogner. So let's do that. Let's go to the web and listen to a little Tannhauser. YouTube Gas commercial. Food's going up. It's a lot harder to make ends meet. Mark Pryor, your votes have made our lives harder, and we are paying the price. So the Grand March in Tannhauser by Wagner. And we can go back to our view. <clears throat> Again, let's go to literature and let's read Bacon, New Atlantis. Click on there 
and the page loads. Cross out that and go back and again back to our presentation. So there it is. That's really how simple it is to create your first uh, concept and contact mapping using uh, the visual understanding environment from Tufts University.